We're here at AHIMA 2013 with Gary Huff. He's the CEO and President of Huff DRG Review Services. And we're talking about ICD-10 and the challenges of ICD-10. But first, I want to talk about the uh, really the timeline you think that's needed for organizations to train their physicians for ICD-10. Well, as you know, or as, as we get ready for ICD-10, uh, the, the final piece of the transition difficult piece is to engage the medical staff and have them involved in the training process. You know, with, with physicians, they have a short attention span, uh, and uh, particularly with coding and documentation <laughs> issues. Uh, so typically, you probably need to look at initiating their training uh, after, uh, after the first quarter. Uh, now, that's not to say you can't be doing things to prepare for that educational process in terms of trying to analyze your uh, your various physicians and what their documentation, lack of documentation, ICD-10. So your coders need to be, during that right after the first of the year, should be doing some uh, cross-coding so they can find those documentation gaps. It's called a gap analysis. And there's computer software that does that uh, because that should be instrumental in addressing your physician education needs because when you educate physicians in this process, you don't want to give them, this is what you need to know about uh, about documentation and ICD-10. What they won't know is, tell me what I need to know because uh, they, they, you need to be able to put it on an index card. And, and really, I mean, I think, I think like you said, there, there's a lot of uh, ICD-10 training options out there. But what makes uh, what you guys do unique to uh, training physicians? Well, um, having been on the other side of that training, <laughs> I can tell you what doesn't work. Uh, can presentations on tapes, because uh, a lot of doctors will fall asleep. It doesn't apply to me. Uh, or they'll, they have to, if they have to watch them, they'll put them in the tape thing, but they'll be working on their charts while completing their charts while it's on just to, <laughs> just to complete the requirement and check the box. So uh, our, our approach is a little bit, is a little bit different. Um, it is, we, we're, we're trying to develop a program where we can go up close and personal, doctor to doctor. So we, we feel doctors are the, are the best individual to train doctors. But we take it even further. We we have developed a group of doctors by specialty, like neurosurgeons, cardiothoracic, who are who can teach those individual groups. So not only are we doing peer to peer in terms of doctor to doctor, it's specialty to specialty. And the other part of that process is in your gap analysis. Not only is our our education specialty specific, but we're also making it uh, provider specific because you should, it shouldn't take you more than uh, 30 minutes to an hour to, to teach a doctor uh, uh, what he needs to know. Excellent. And are, are you finding that there really is a large gap between what they need to know and, and what you need to train them on? Well, we're, we're in our preliminary stages, but, uh, but for the most part, we'll just tell you this, that as far as diagnostic coding goes, Whatever documentation problems you have with ICD-9, you will have them in ICD-10. <laughs> now there will be a few more, but but a lot of the same issues are the same. On that. It is the procedure side that is the difficult side because you may have great documenters, but they still haven't been trained to get all the elements that they need for codes. So uh, so that's where the challenge is. I can't really give you a lot of a lot of uh, percentages at this point because you know we're this is just the early parts of what we're seeing uh, in terms of, but, but it's definitely a, a greater communication gap in the, on the surgical procedures. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you.